What's going on guys? Welcome back for another impressive vlog. So today we have a Huracan in front of us as you guys can see. We've already started pulling most of the pieces off of it. Now it's going to be getting a full wrap and it's actually getting wrapped the same color as our GT. So that'll be really interesting to see how those cars look side by side. Uh, we're going to finish taking all this stuff apart. Like I said, we take it apart that way it's easier for us to wrap all the individual pieces back when the car is fully taken apart and we get started on the wrapping process. So we finally removed all the pieces that we need to remove off the car. As you guys can see, the hood has been laid. Check that out. It's just like this GT, as you guys can see. And then we're testing uh, the black from this company too. If you guys look at this, this is other wrap material that compared to the same material that the purple is. If you guys look at this light right here, look how much orange peel it is. And it's just not very clear. But when it transfers over to here, it's more clear. This wrap is actually super glossy and we've been getting a lot of questions about it with the GT. It looks super good and most people actually when they first see it think it's paint so So you guys just saw they're cutting up some of the material for the different parts of the Lambo It's better to cut the smaller pieces that you need that way you're not working with a big old long thing of vinyl Trying to stretch along the whole panel Just do specific panels it makes it a lot easier to work with So right now we're starting to tape off all of these pieces just got started with the door handle. Got a couple other pieces to tape off, such as the headlights, taillights, things like that. That way when we start cutting uh, the vinyl around these kinds of things, or, you know, like I said, the door handles. That way it's easier to lift the vinyl from it, and it also prevents us from actually cutting the paint itself. If you guys wanna see how, it, how exactly it works, if you guys check out our Instagram, we have these things called Tips of the Week. We have a Tip of the Week explaining why we do masking tape, so make sure to watch that. So we're just getting started on laying the door. Check that out. So you guys saw we were laying the door earlier. It is now done. And we're moving on to this front fender right here. As you guys can see, we're wrapping up some of the smaller bits right now. These are the little pieces that go right here by the field door and then the other side as well. James is over here cutting away the excess on the door. So as you guys can see, the hood, the fender, and the door is now laid. If you guys check this out, we're able to get, a, get somewhat of an idea of what this is going to look like once it's all done. Like I said, using masking tape is really important just to protect either the vinyl that was already laid or the original paint of the car. You don't want to scratch that just because it's not going to be a good time. We now have this door completely done as well as the handle. And then on this side we have the hood done, the fender, and then this door as well. We now have the car up on a lift. That way we can start pulling more things apart such as the rear bumper and then some of the plastic trim for the hatch needs to come off. So as you guys can see, the team wrapped up pretty much the whole car overnight last night. We are now putting some of the pieces back, starting with the rear bumper right here. And over here, we've got the front bumper also already fully done. So like I said, the team took care of the Lambo last night and wrapped up the whole thing. We're now putting everything back. So you guys just saw the rear bumper is now back on the car, as well as the wing and then the trim pieces that we had to take off here are now wrapped and put up back on the car as well. There's a few other small pieces to do, such as the mirrors, which are being done now. And then we have to put things like the front bumper back on. But this thing looks so good in the new purple. Once everything's all wrapped up with the car, we'll take it out, we'll shoot it. You guys can find those photos on our Instagram page, again, at Impressive Wrap. But yeah, once this thing gets uh, fully back together and we put it out in the sunlight, you'll really be able to see how this purple looks. All right, so check it out. We're wrapping up the final pieces of the Huracan. We got the bumper fitted. And now we just got to bolt it back into place, put the clips back in, and then the front vents. After that, we'll drop it from the lift and we'll take it outside. So 
So what you guys just saw is that you guys are actually able to polish this vinyl. Uh, we played a little clip that showed the before. We showed all the scratches that were on here. We'll roll that right now. And uh, we'll play the after clip right now. So you guys can see, you can polish this just like regular paint and it gets rid of all those annoying scratches. Now if you guys are going to attempt to polish the car yourself, make sure to have a DA polisher. Uh, use a foam pad and make sure it stays on low speed. Otherwise you will tear through the vinyl. Alright, so we just finished up the Lambo. This thing looks amazing now that we've got it in the light. Check this thing out. This thing looks so good. It's the same color as our GT, so you guys have seen this color plenty of times, but seeing it on a different car, such as a Huracan, it makes the car look so good. Perfect. Like you can, it's like a mirror image anywhere around the car that you go. So, with that being said, this is going to wrap up our vlog on the Huracan. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you guys in the next one.